When you cook all artichoke, you want to cut the end of the leaf, like I'm doing here, because there is pricker on it. And you want to buy beautiful artichoke. You cook that in boiling water, wet enough so that they are tender, and then you remove the center and the choke. However, when you go to the market, when I go to the market, and if I see some artichokes, and these ones are still pretty nice, but they're already pretty yellow and dark, that's when you buy them for artichoke bottom. They are less expensive. So first, don't throw out the stem. Again, the stem, you want to peel it, just like you do for the broccoli. You want to put a little bit of lemon juice because that this color. And then you cook it. This is very tender when it's cooked. So if you don't know how to do an artichoke, it's a bit tricky. So you have to do what I'm doing here, at least a few times to get into the mood. And what I'm doing here, I'm doing actually the same way you would do if I was eating an artichoke. I'm breaking the artichoke and pulling down. And you can see that here and here, where the meat should be, it stay right there because I break and pull, break and pull, break and pull. If I pull it this way and I remove the piece of meat, here it is, which I shouldn't. So I do that to be all around, at least all of the bottom of the artichoke is clear. So I know I'm not going to cut into it with my knife. Then I cut the top, as you do normally. You can use a small knife. You can actually use a good vegetable peeler and just clean it on the outside. And that for people who've never done an artichoke bottom, probably the safest way of doing it because often we have a tendency to cut into it. You do an edge here, and that's it. You want to put some uh, lemon on it, because you cook it with a little bit of lemon. This becomes a receptacle, and you fill it up with spinach or a poached eggs or anything you want. So here it is, it has to be. Now, if you're a bit more proficient with the knife, as professional, conventionally the way we do it, we cut it here and I cut around with the knife this way. You can see here, it's like a cone that I have done here. And I can remove the front. I can cut it up to here. Actually, those leaves are pretty tender. I can remove the center here, but that I can cook as well. And now, I'm left with that piece, and this is what we call turning an artichoke. Notice that my knife is straight up. I go one layer straight up because there is an angle here. When I get to the end of this, my knife goes this way, and I do another turn around. I don't stop in between, of course. When I get to the end here, I go flatter, and I continue again. So this is the process of turning, keep turning, turning, Turning an artichoke, you know, turning an artichoke. This is the process here. Even if there is a little bit of grain left over, it's fine. Then these artichokes are placed into water, lemon juice, a dash of uh, olive oil if you want, and you cook them. As you can see here, I have those leaves from the inside. This one, I left the stem out of it, which you can do this way. But you see that the center, the choke, should slide out very easily. And now I can, it can be stuffed with something or cut into quarter like this, which look good. And you can keep them basically a week in your refrigerator, fill them up when you need it, with a poached eggs or whatever. Technique of artichoke bottom. <laughs>